So, it is February 22nd, 2017. Today, I don't know, I've been waiting for this day for quite a while now. And I don't I don't know why. I've just been waiting for this day alone. So, what is going to happen? on February 22nd, 2017. Many things could happen. You can get a promotion. You could find a relationship. You could talk to the President of the United States. Like, that, that, would, be, that would be something pretty cool. I, I just, I don't know, there's something that has to do with, you know, abundance of wealth. You know, we are inherited this world. You know, we should gain the fruits and the natures and the, all the nutrients of the world. But no, we're sitting here eating it up. We're killing it. While there's power hungry people out in the world right now who is using that for their own good, their own greed. And they're 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 the they're the wealthiest people. They're the ones who are basically paying, making us pay to be on earth. On earth. Guys, this earth is free. We were given it for free. And people are trying to kill it. And I don't care how to say it. People are trying to kill it. And we're gonna fight it. All right, one way or another, you know, cause technology and AI and war and Earthquakes, uh, the magnetic field is weakening in uh, of the Earth's core, and that's why the weather is weird. That's why California is getting screwed over right now. The magnetic magnetic field is dropping. The bubble around us. Dimension swaps. Converging of dimensions, frequency changes. Do y'all's ears ring? Tell me. Do y'all's ears ring? And you don't know why. Do you hear horns? Do you hear buzzing in the background? Just that so far, it seems so close. Not close, but you don't know where it's coming from. This is an important message. Hippie Jesus does approve this message. All right, guys. God loves you. Jesus loves you. God came into his the form that he wanted you, and I'm I don't care if you guys hate it. But how I look at it, he came here in human form, and he lived a sinless life. He helped people. And then whenever he died on that cross, he said, I'm taking everybody's pain, and it is on me. Your deaths are on me. All right, now that's pretty, that's pretty cocky for a guy to do that. But really, if a guy will do that, and if there actually was true power that was behind that, but now everyone wants to hate it and find other things, find other religions. I mean, I'm not going to hate it. I'm not going to hate y'all for it. I'm going to love you either way because that is what Jesus wanted. 
Jesus wants us to love each other for the way that we are. Accept one another. How is, how is that so freaking hard? How is that so difficult to understand? You look at all the bad sides behind it, but look at the growth within you. Talk about how to grow within yourself. Because if you learn to grow within yourself, you are gonna be able to grow with everybody else in the world. And that is the thing that the elitists do not want. Because they know, they know that we can stand up and fight today if we just all join together. All right, guys. I made this one too raw. All right, guys. I'm. This is the odd life of Charles Shane. And in the mind of Charles. Over and out.